Okay, I'm uh, creating a very quick um, overview of the web interface um, for Neo4j. So now that we've installed uh, Neo4j and uh, we've seen how to import the database and uh, start the server with the correct settings, it's um, the right time to see uh, some of the features of the web interface because this is something uh, which you'll have to understand in order to um, access the data residing inside the database. So now um, you can see the web interface for Neo4j and on the left hand side um, at the very top you can see these three dots um, and if you click these three dots you'll see um, some basic information about the database now for some reason you are not able to see the nodes which you can say represent the entities within a graph database uh, but you can definitely see certain relationships between nodes and you can also see some of the properties of nodes uh, in this section of the uh, of the web interface and at the very bottom you can see the location of the database and you can also see the size of the database now I'll get back to this panel very quickly um, but I would like to um, just go through these two sections of the panel as well so um, this is an information section and you can basically access different resources and manual for reference purposes you can see some uh, guides for getting started with Neo4j and so on and so forth so you can basically access this um, part of the panel and um, continue on your learning uh, you can access some of the learning resources over here um, in, in the middle section of the of the web interface and this section represents some of the favorites um, within the Neo4j. So the whole point is that you can access some queries over here. Uh, you can um, define or import your own queries. So you can um, import a script um, of a Cypher querying language and you can import that script. Um, in your new uh, new4j web interface now the important thing to understand is that uh, whatever you're going to save uh, in your favorites will be stored in the uh, browser's local memory uh, so that is something which you always need to remember um, and you can basically in fact I can I can show you um, just so if you click create a node you'll see uh, just a sample query which is uh, now specified in the command prompt section of the web interface you can run this query so you can execute using this button you can add it in your favorites or you can press this plus button to start a fresh query so if I press this plus button now you can write a query of your own so you can create a sample node in this manner or you can get some data so this will basically create a query um, and create an output of that query and it's just um, like a select statement in your relational database to get some information um, but this is something which we'll see at great length in the future videos perhaps uh, I would like to quickly get back to the original section which I was showing in the first instance so just to give you a bit of a feeler um, what we can do is we can select one of the relationship types very quickly and now you can see in cipher querying language we've got a query and we've got the output in a graphical manner um, we can see all the different nodes and the important thing is that all these nodes have a relationship of owns because we have selected 
owns um, in the first instance so it is showing us all the uh, nodes having the relationship of owns and if you select one of the nodes you can see its id now which is 82 in this case and this indicates that this node has a property of character with the value of meddling monk uh, you can also select another node and this node has an id of 6 with a property of thing called tadis so the relationship over here means that this specific character owns a thing called tadis and also this node uh, which is a character rani owns a thing called tadis so you can see these different relationships and um, these different nodes and how they are related to each other um, uh, very very conveniently using this graphical interface um, and also you can um, access the information um, using these property keys so for example if I want to see all the nodes uh, which have a property of character I can press this key and now instead of having that graphical interface I have a tabular uh, form of result so again there's a cipher querying language and the output is tabular over here and it is basically providing me all the a list of all the nodes which have a property of character and these are the values of each node so you can access information in different ways and you can basically um, uh, use these shortcuts uh, to get information very very quickly but the important thing to understand is that you have this command prompt and you can write your own uh, queries and get the information so whenever you want to get an information uh, from the database which is not um, uh, very easy to access using these shortcuts then you always have the opportunity to write your own query in the command prompt section and execute it and get the information which you want to have um, so that is uh, uh, about it for the quick um, tour of the web interface and um, I would continue on this uh, list of, of tutorials and um, in the next videos I think uh, we would try to try to uh, learn a bit more about graph databases and um, the cipher query language so that you can write some queries of your own and execute it. So thanks very much again for watching and please uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you.